Out in the lagoon itself, the little fish are harder to observe. They're quick to hide in the seagrass when something big, like me, comes along. But you can easily see how important the grass is. It stretches on and on in vast meadows. And just like meadows on land, where you can see cows grazing, here you can see sea cows, the Florida manatee. For these gentle vegetarians, seagrass is the mainstay of their diet. But manatees don't just consume the grass, they help to keep it healthy too. They crop it to a good length for it to grow back strongly. And as they swim and eat, they spread the seeds in their poop, creating new seagrass habitat as they travel. They're a great example of how an ecosystem needs the services of creatures big and small in order to thrive. The tiny juvenile fish that inhabit the seagrass perform their own vital functions too. If you look closely, you can see that these young mullet are not actually eating the grass like the manatees do. They feed on the algae that grows on it. Too much algae can kill the grass by cutting off the sunlight that the grass needs to grow. So the mullet play an important role by trimming it back. These little fish are part of a complex food web. They keep the seagrass healthy for the manatees to feed on, while they themselves are also a food source for bigger fish higher up the food chain, like the barracuda.